Uh, they're not as diverse as we are. They don't. They don't live. They don't live. I'm um, just watching this elephant behind yes, me here course, reaching. You can't reach you. Yeah. Um, that that they <laughs> that they. Um, um, Ja, det kan være svært at bevare koncentrationen, selv for Alan Rucroft, som er elefantekspert. Alan har arbejdet med elefanter i 46 år, har boet i San Diego i 26, men er født i Manchester. Gik ud af skolen som 14-årig og har arbejdet med elefanter lige siden. Han har sit eget elefantrådgivningsfirma og er en kendt mand i branchen. Han rejser rundt i hele verden for at rådgive elefantdyrpassere. Alan har fokus på træning, men træning er kun en lille del af en elefants hverdag. Well, we're not we're not talking about training. We're actually talking about a whole program. Training is just one small element. If you can if you look at training as a a part of a day, it would be maybe one hour, 30 minutes to one hour of a day in 24 hours. So um, the training is just one component. What I try and look at, I try and look at 24 hours. What does the 24 hours mean to the elephant? Meaning that our 24 hours, if you if you look at your watch right now, you'll see a little second hands ticking. Elephants work from the same watch. Their 24 hours is the same as ours. So what do you do on a daily basis? Do you sit down and enjoy yourself, have fun with friends, go play football? Elephants have a biology. They 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 have a certain thing, a certain um, process that they've evolved to do. And if they're not allowed to do that process, meaning uh, walking long distances, um, interacting with one another, interacting with uh, uh, co-specific species, uh, another elephant, so to speak, then certain things uh, are missing in their life. And what I try and do, what my job, my role is, is to bring that to a zoo environment, to teach people. Is it the same distance, Anis, between there and there and there and there, or is, it, is that closer? 